Top of the day to you on What's the Word. Have you heard that it's our religious customs and beliefs that divides us? Yeah, so I often wonder about that, you know, our religious customs and our beliefs that has been dividing us. Have you noticed that we all have like an Abraham, a Isaac, a Jacob, a Peter, a Paul, or a David or Daniel? You know, we always want people at one time. Now the house is divided. So what is it's going to take for us to understand? Okay, so if we understand that you say you the people, I say I am the people, I'm the chosen ones, you're the chosen ones, they the chosen ones. But what are these chosen ones doing? You know, to me, COVID broke the mold. You know, the, the church body itself. Uh, was thriving. They was thriving. But, you know, God don't like ugly, you know, and sometimes he gets sick and tired of us. We learned that from our ancestors, you know, some of the things that they would say uh, that we heard of or that would happen back in the day. And then it's also written in history, you know, or written in the word about our ancestors and the things that they endured. Um, I understand that it had to be something because I've read and understood how the and then there's also movies, you know, that depicts things that happen. They would say that it's like non-fictional, you know, or based on whatever. But a lot of movies get it off our lives, our ancestral lives, based on a truth. But of course, they have to make it, you know, interesting for us to watch, you know, or they put out words where it's like, give us itchy ears. You know, we always want to know you know, the, the latest, whatever they decide to put out to make money. It's all about money. Always follow the money. You know, if you ever want to follow out, a, a figure out an issue, it's all about the money. Majority of the times, majority of the times, not all the times, but majority of the times, I'll put that out there. Okay. So what we're going to do about these religious customs, are they outweighing, you know, or keeping a division between us? What are our beliefs? Are we all divided? If we all have a God, you know, some people, guys are idols. Some people, guys are themselves or whatever. But we all know that there is God Almighty. Now, whether we believe it or not, that's a different story, you know. But there are some that believe, our ancestors believe that there is a God. Uh, some people say the Big Bang Theory. I think the Big Bang Theory, oh, it happened. You know, the evil people got kicked out, you know, and it just caused a big ruckus. Big Bang, get it? <laughs> so all jokes aside, so whose mission, if we all say that we are the chosen ones, so whose mission it is to equip, to encourage, you know, to energize the believers? You know, we so busy arguing about this senseless stuff, you know, about who this and who that, who that. I'm this, I'm that. You know what I'm saying? It's all senseless. Instead of us trying to do the mission, do the work. You know, carry out what we need to do. Who's proclaiming? Whose proclamation are we continuing to claim, proclaim about? You know, is it about us, uh, the church? Understand, you are the church, the people, the body is the church, not necessarily a building. So you don't go to church. You go to a worship because you are the church. Your little bodies, little temples going out forth to tell people, to encourage them that, you know, keep the faith, keep keep hope alive, you know. So how do we address the questions about, you know, the believers, you know, their daily walk, you know, with God and the word? Is anybody answering them? So you wonder why a lot of people, you know, after COVID, to me, their eyes was open on how the church is. The church is not being ran. It's being ran by religious customs and beliefs that are they accurate or are they of God? You know, so we need to learn how to set aside these ways and things that we have that then got entangled, all these religious customs and beliefs that got entangled in what's the way, the truth and what gives life. You know, a lot of things that we just then let go of dealing with how we are to raise, you know, the next generation. And it's like, we get mad at other people that they start their kids off like almost from birth, raising them, 
I'm preparing them for the world. Are we doing that? Are we preparing the next generation for how to maneuver and how to deal through this world? You know, are we equipping them with all the tools that they would need to be successful in this life and not to get caught up in these webs of, you know, um, how should I say it? These uh, entrapments, not to get entrapped and as they pass and as they make their journey all the way through, you know, are we preparing them with what they need to be successful? You know, are we giving them some of the things that we just like, oh no, my parents were strict. I'll never be that with my kids. But some of the things that they was being strict of is because it was protecting you from the ways of the world. So prepare the next generation Change your ways, prepare your ways that you may continue to have what we have since we see that the world is uh, putting in laws and things to go against what may hurt us. You know, now it was all about, you know, the different award shows that would, you know, give us knowledge of and a lot of people that has a lot of money is kind of trying to show us. But every time they try to tell us or show us something, they get reprimanded for it. But are we even paying attention? And just like we blind or we got scales over our eyes. So just understand what's the word and then have you heard. And then you need to get it together and be about your business, the father's business, continue to equip, you know, and to energize and to prepare the future in order for these generations that comes before us and understand the things that happened to them, you know, and then these generations now, you know, we can change. We can help the people that's coming behind us instead of make these lives as hard or instead of complain about what is happening. All this stuff, yeah, we were just handed to us, you know, the good, the bad, and the ugly, you know. So we have to understand that, you know, we can make a change. We can make a difference, you know. So what are we going to do about this here? Don't let these customs and these different religious beliefs and things divide us because we are one. And I remember how our ancestors, well, I don't remember, but I remember reading how our ancestors and the slaves that paved the way for a lot of us, how they, you know, would get beaten or killed if they were caught praying or, or reading the word because that was their strength, because the, the people that would catch them, they know that if they speak the word or they just pray that things and changes would happen to them. So they had to keep the house divided. So we're going to be about this house. We're going to put the house back together. Well, it's only for us to see and know. The ball is in our hands. So what are we going to do it? Throw it down or just toss it one to the other? You know, so all I can say is journey on. Peace and love unto you. And may your customs be down. And may your proclamations will continue to proclaim what is true and what is the way. And that the generation will have a better life. But peace and love unto you. Blessings. And you already know, we're out.